Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, September the 11th, 2019, and this is a special edition of the Gold Forecast. On today's show, what I really want to hone in on is my longer term model as we look at it through the eyes of Elliott Wave. I will give you an indication of what we can expect in its most simplistic manner, and we will conclude with where I think this fifth wave is going to take us. With that in mind, let's take a look at our prices as well as our technical studies today. The good news is, is that gold was able to close above 1500 currently at 1504.10. And that to me signals that we are now in the second of three basic waves in A, B, and C, which will conclude and then fifth wave will begin and we'll forecast all of that on today's show. On today's show, I'm going to use two different charts, both daily gold charts. On the chart that we are currently looking at, I have completed a model of waves one through five in terms of an Elliott wave count. And the way that we're working this is the first part of the rally, which is what our benchmark wave one is, took gold about $187 higher from 1165 to 1352. From there, we had our wave two correction, and that began the longest of the rallies in this structure, which is our wave three. And typically, when we look at what we want to uh, forecast a wave three, one rule of thumb is to say that wave three is equal to a 1.618 extension of wave one. If that's the case, it would have taken us to about 1571. The highs that came in, came in above 60, below 70. I will say effectively, it was able to forecast the top of this market once wave one was created. Following the completion of wave three, we began a wave four. That's a corrective wave. That's the current wave we're looking at. And there's a couple of things we can do to forecast where we think it's going to go and how that structure will work out. Now realize this is the most simplistic corrective type, which is basically an ABC. There's multiple different ways the market can correct. We will discuss those in detail through the rest of this week and the beginning of next. But first, simply put, when we look at our way four, it is typically going to be a point three eight percent retracement of wave three and that's what this number right here represents 1457 and that's why we're projecting that this wave could in fact conclude down to 1457 i think that we have achieved the first part of our abc and that's this first corrective wave here took us to approximately 1492 and now we're going to enter a counter wave the b wave and really to look at that we need to pull up a different chart now the chart we are looking at again is a daily chart and we are only attempting to forecast where our counter wave or B, which is what I believe we just saw begin the other day, will conclude. And so to do that, we take the price decline of this first A wave and basic theory tells us that we will see this market regain anywhere between 60 and 75% of the drawdown that we saw in the former wave A, which means that wave B, and that's what I believe we are currently in, could take this market to either 1536 or any price up until about 1547. At that point, we will start our final C wave down. At that point, we will conclude the ABC correction. We will then go into a final impulse wave, wave five, and based on wave five and wave one being about equal in size, we are simply adding $187 from this starting point here, and that will take gold prices to about $1,650. On the next couple of shows, we will talk about variations in terms of this correction here, so we can be ready for anything. But right now, I believe that we are going to see this market move higher and move as high as about call it 1545 before we see that final C wave. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.